Welcome back to the OK Kite Border. In this episode, I had the privilege to follow some of the Fly Surfer team around Hood River for a week and experience the new hybrid kite that they are releasing. This is probably one of those videos that's very hard to not sound like a commercial, as it has been no secret of my strong affinity the last couple of years to the hybrid's little brother, the Peak, for free ride kite foiling. So let's hear some of the background on this kite, some technical info, and performance tips from the Fly Surfer family, and then I'll close with my thoughts on a couple of sessions that I experienced on the water with the new water relaunchable hybrid kite. Hello everybody, I'm Chris from Fly Surfer. Um, I shortly talk about our new upcoming product, the hybrid going to be released at the end of October in 2022. So recently uh, the Flies of the Peak got a big following and uh, many people use this kite on the water as well. So obviously the question arises that is this product water relaunchable or not? And therefore we came up with a new product and a solution for it. So the hybrid um, is a partly closed cell foil kite with a single skin part um, towards the, the trailing edge. So it's 40% closed cell, 60% um, single skin. What's special about this product is um, it's very good to teach children with. So you combine like two worlds, it's a good school product and it's very good for free riding on a hydrofoil. So our vision um, on the product is that every family should own one of these hybrids so you can go on a twin tip with your child and then jump on the foil in the end and have a good time. The water relaunch on the hybrid system is very similar to what you're used to on a tube kite for example. So you can pull one steering line and the kite will lift its upper wing tip and then it relaunches from the water. In case the hybrid drops on the wind window edge and it drifts backwards to the soft zone or the power zone, try to use the opposite steering line so it flips up quicker and goes the other way through the power zone up in the air. So the difference between a single skin kite and a hybrid kite is that the closed tail part has to be closed with the pocket and then the air gets into um, the kite through the air intake and then it fills up and keeps its form. In case water comes through the air intake into the kite there is a cutoff, an exit like on the trailing edge close to it where the water can drain out. So after releasing the kite by using the quick release system, the kite flags out on a one front line. The special thing about the hybrid though is that the front line is connected to the opposite side of the wingtip so you can reactivate the kite after using it. So you simply put the quick release together, hook in again and slowly let the lines um, come back so the kite gets tension and afterwards you can relaunch the kite. So I'm, I personally prefer riding uh, high aspect ratio kites, um, however I use the, the hybrid here in Hood River um, and I found that the hybrid was actually the proper kite for here because we have very gusty conditions in Hood River, uh, it's more, more tricky, the wind can be um, challenging with some pocket of no winds and higher winds here and there. So I feel like the hybrid is actually good because I feel safe with it. I can launch it with no problems, like the peak actually, and then uh, go ride without being scared of like putting the kite in the water because I know it's going to relaunch super well. Um, and I feel like, um, you know, it's a stress-free kite basically and it's cruising super well um, in light wind and higher wind so I can take as much as I want out there and it was fantastic. Uh, lately, in the past couple of years, we've seen a lot of people start to take single skin kites out on the water. And a lot of that is because they are such playful kites. They drift extremely well, they do extremely well in gusty winds, and uh, just very well behaved kites. And very fun to play with. Uh, but a lot of people are apprehensive about taking single skin kites out on the water because of the water relaunchability. So what Fly Surfer did was to see if they could retain all the benefits of the single skin kite, 
but add the water relaunchability of a closed cell kite. The water relaunchability is a lot easier than your normal strutless inflatable kite. Uh, it's, um, we've never had any problems uh, with all the testing that we've done all this week. The other thing I was curious about was, is it still as driftable as the single skin kite? Uh, because that is a big part of the fun that you have with a single skin kite out on the water. And I was pleasantly surprised that you can point your, your hydrofoil directly downwind and the kite will still stay right in front of you uh, without the lines going too slack, which is one of the things I love about the single skin peak. The other thing that I love to do is I love to pinwheel the kite. Uh, and what that is, is when you really pull on one side, install out the kite, and then make it pinwheel uh, in one direction or the other. And it's definitely still possible with this hybrid kite. And so you can still really make this kite dance the way you can with a single skin kite. So, so one of the things I noticed about the hybrid versus the peak is when you go to stall the kite and make it pinwheel, you have to pull on one of the lines a lot harder. And what the hybrid will do is it will do one kind of bigger loop and it's not until the hybrid is directly downwind of you that it starts to pinwheel. But when it gets in that sweet spot, it really moves because it's got a little bit more mass than the peak. And so once it starts spinning, uh, it, it really starts going fast. And, uh, and there's no issue with the wingtips coming in on, on um, collapsing, which sometimes I find with a peak, if I did it wrong, if, if, if my line tension wasn't right, the, the peak would uh, collapse a little bit and I'd have to let go and, uh, and stop the pinwheel. But that's not the, an issue with the hybrid. The other benefit of this hybrid kite is because of how forgiving it is, and now with the new wire relaunchability, you are able to take kids out on the water on a twin tip. For the most part in the past, these single skin kites, the hybrid, we're talking about hydrofoiling. But with kids, this is definitely a kite that you can ha put in their hands and you're not gonna worry about them getting lofted or thrown around just because of how well behaved the kite is. It's very forgiving. I was able to get out on a couple of sessions pairing the hybrid with the Triton monofoil. One mistake that I did make early on was going with the smaller fly surfer bar setup. The larger bar, it would have been a more appropriate choice for looping the kite and adding some more leverage. But with that being said, I found the hybrid to hold better shape, obviously, than the Peak, especially on the tips of the kite. I would say it has a little bit more grunt, which can be nice in very underpowered conditions. And also, I found it to be very resistant to drone attacks. <gasps> it seemed to loop a little slower than the Peak, but I really think that that was more of a bar issue after witnessing the riding all week under the hybrid by other riders. And I would say that the hybrid does not backstall as easily as the Peak, but as you can see from Mike's demonstration, with a little bit of time on this kite, well, you can pivot it just like the Peak. I did water relaunch the hybrid a number of times in both shallow and deep water conditions, and I will tell you, it is phenomenal. You obviously don't want to crash the kite on its trail edge, which is rare anyhow for a kite that can fly in three mile per hour winds. And the weight and size comparison of the hybrid to the peak, well, it can be seen above in this chart. So there's no concerns about the added bulkiness with the hybrid. So in my opinion, who is the hybrid for? Well, if you're already a peak rider who really never has any concern about water relaunchability, then I'd say the price difference is probably not worth the transition. But if water relaunch is a must or it gives you some peace of mind, then it's a no-brainer. And if you have kids wanting to get into kiting, it's also a definitive yes. You will just have to weigh the benefits versus the price differences. From a performance perspective, I believe that you will see it as very close to its little brother on the water. If you have any interest in purchasing the hybrid or any other wind and board sports gear, then hit up Green Hat Kiteboarding. They'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have and it would be a great spot to land for your home gear source if you don't have a local shop nearby. So that's all for today and we'll see you next time 
on the OK Kite border.